بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ دا تھرڈ لرننگ پیتھ ویژولائز اینڈ اینالائز دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک ایڈٹ اینڈ کنفگر انٹریکشنز بٹوین ویژولس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن انہینس رپورٹس فار یوزیبلٹی اینڈ اسٹوری ٹیلنگ وی ہیو کور ڈفرنٹ ٹائپس آف ویژولس ان اے لاٹ آف ڈیٹیل so now let's see how we can edit and configure the interactions between different visuals on the canvas so let's go to the power bi desktop environment so here I, on the canvas i have drawn two visuals so the first visual here is a table visual and the other visual is a simple bar chart and inside the table visual i have the sales region and the total cost and in in the bar chart i have the total cost on the x axis and the product brand on the y axis so now let me just show you a behavior that we haven't explored previously so here i am going to go in the table visual and i am going to just use my mouse to select northwest region so as soon as i select this northwest region you see that this visual it changes and the area inside the bar gets highlighted so this is actually showing that the product brands the cost of the product brands for the northwest region are being highlighted so if i go back and i change it to another region so you are going to see for a different result similarly if i go and show the central west you see that because the sales are very low so you are seeing very very small uh, part that has been refreshed Similarly, if I come on this visual, which is my bar chart, if I select this product brand Hermanos, you see that this also results in this table getting filtered. So we have seen that uh, there is an interaction between this visual and there is also an interaction between this visual. So anything that you do on this visual, there is impact on this visual. And like uh, likewise, if I do something on this visual, there is some kind of an impact on this visual. So this is the behavior that we are going to now uh, edit and configure. And this is done by the format window. And inside the format window, you have an option which is called as the edit interaction. So let's see what the edit interaction uh, option first says. It says that it changes how visuals interact when data points are selected. While in edit mode, select the source visual and choose behaviors using the icons that appear. So here it says that if I want to control the behavior of this visual, then first I will have to select this visual and then I will go and click on the edit interactions icon. So as soon as you go and click on the edit interactions icon here, you are going to see that for all the visuals. So currently we have just one visual on the canvas other than the table visual you are going to see these icons on top of the on top of each of the visual so let's see what are these icons so the first one is the filter icon the second one is the highlight and the third one is none so currently the setting is that if i do something on this visual then the default interaction is highlight so let me just change it to filter and then i can go and turn this in added interactions off and now if i go and select this northwest you now see that the behavior is a bit different than before so previously it was highlighting now it is actually filtering so let me just select any other region so here you see that now the highlighting behavior has stopped so if i want to change it to the third option which is that there should no there should not be any interaction then again i'm going to select this click on edit interaction come to this area and then i'm going to select on none so now you can see that this area has been selected and now I will turn this thing off and then I'm going to go and whatever I choose, you are going to see that there is absolutely no effect of any interaction on this particular visual. So this is how you can, you can configure the added interaction experience. Let me now just do that for the other visual. So let's, let's turn it off and now I select this one and then i click on edit interaction so here you see that now instead of three i am just seeing just two options because there is obviously no option of highlighting in a table visual so for some visuals you are going to see uh, three icons and for some visuals you are going to see two icons because there could be uh, filtering can be done on all the visuals but highlighting is not enabled or not supported for all the visuals so now if i just want to configure 
this uh, to none because the the filtering was already configured and then I turn it off and then if I select anything here you see that there is absolutely no change on the table visual so this is how you can edit and configure the interactions between the visuals and these can be done for all the visuals the only issue is that you have to do it individually for all the visuals you cannot do it simultaneously so you have to first select one visual and then configure the interactions for all the other visuals and this process you have to repeat for all the visuals on your canvas so that was all about edit interactions and i will catch up with you in the next video